Meet the Jetson One, a personal flying vehicle that's not meant to solve the climate crisis or revolutionize transportation. All it's meant to do is show you a good time. It's basically a jet ski for the air. That's Jetson founder Peter Turnstrom. He and his co-founder, Tomas Patan, have been working on the Jetson One since 2017, but have been flying under the radar, so to speak, for most of that time. Back in 2019, they released their first video of a proof-of-concept vehicle. Since then, we've seen a handful of flight testing videos and upgrades to the vehicle. Then late last year, Jetson made its official launch with this video. It shows Patan flying the first Jetson 1 production model. And if their goal is to make flying this thing look fun, mission accomplished. In fact, does this video remind you of anything? How about now? So let's talk about what the Jetson 1 is and what it isn't. This is a recreational ultralight EVTOL, which most of you probably know by now stands for Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing. It weighs 190 pounds, the frame is all aluminum, and it's powered by eight electric motors. The Tesla battery cells give it a flight time of 20 minutes. That means this isn't built for long commutes to the office or to get you to your next vacation. This is for recreation. And let's face it, making your friends a little jealous. But what the founders are banking on to peak interest is the flight controls and their simple design. We are confident now that we can put anyone in the Jetson and that we can teach them to fly in five minutes and they will have fun. It is so incredibly easy to fly. You heard that right five minutes. Jetson says no flight experience is required to master flying this thing, and no pilot's license is needed. Unlike helicopters and planes, there isn't a complicated array of buttons and switches, and the pilot's left hand is the thrust lever, which doesn't connect directly to the motors. It talks to the proprietary triple redundant flight computer and controls the altitude. And the right hand is a three-axis joystick. So what about safety? The computer limits the top speed to 63 miles per hour, Jetson says it can still fly if any single motor goes out, and there's also a ballistic parachute that only deploys at higher altitudes. And that cage is intended to protect the pilot in the event of a low altitude crash. There's also LiDAR sensors for terrain tracking and avoiding obstacles. So what's it actually like to fly? I asked Peter about his first time flying the Jetson 1. It was a little bit louder than I expected, but it has a nice futuristic Star Wars kind of sound. And most importantly, it gives you this profound experience of, of joy. Yeah, it's fun. It, it's so much fun. I mean, everyone has dreamt about flying. So the big question, of course, is how much, to use Peter's words, does a jet ski for the sky cost? The Jetson 1 is priced at $92,000 US. And according to the company, orders are rolling in. Turstrom told me they've taken 163 orders for delivery in 2023. They plan to spend the first half of this year on crash testing before ramping up production to hit those orders. The first Jetson owners will attend a training session in Tuscany, Italy, and the company plans to eventually open up a training center in the US. Now that immediately got me thinking about where I would wanna fly one of these if I got the chance. The Grand Canyon and Yosemite National Park were the first spots that came to mind for me, but what about you? Let me know in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like it. I'm Andy Altman, and I'll see you in the future.